Here's a problem I just ran into with this Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. The lights inside are really dim. You probably can't tell in the video, but they're much dimmer than usual. And as you know, the LED lighting in here should be very bright. So immediately I knew there was a problem. The other thing I noticed is that the light in the freezer section isn't working at all. But I do have the fix for this, and the best part is that after I explain the process, you'll be able to easily fix it yourself. This is the model number of the fridge I'm working on, but this tutorial will also apply to some Amana, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Gen Air refrigerators. So before starting, let's unplug the fridge. To fix the problem, the LED located in the freezer needs to be replaced. It's mounted in the back just under the ice maker. Taking a closer look, you have to release tabs in these two slots. And the best way to get this out is to insert a screwdriver pointing to the back of the fridge. Then use some moderate pressure to pry it down. It might take a few tries, but just remember to push the tab in a bit. When it's released, you can pull the entire assembly out. Next, disconnect the wire connector by pressing a small tab on the side and then lifting it up. So this light actually consists of a cover and a circuit board. And as seen before, it only has one wire socket. Now we need to release the light from the cover at these two tabs. I know I'm showing you this method, but later I realize it's better to release the two bigger tabs on top. That way, you don't even need a screwdriver for this step. I got the replacement part from Amazon and I'll list it in the description so it's easy for you to find. This 3-pack includes the complete light kit for this Whirlpool fridge. It comes with two different kinds of light boards and I chose this because I wanted all the parts on hand if needed. This is the new light board and here on top is the old one. It's known by part number W1051-5057. And all I have to do is snap it back into the light cover. And you can't get this wrong because there's only one way to insert this, thanks to the notch on the bottom left. Next, reattach the wiring. I hope you can see that this has been easy to do so far. In total, my parts cost only $26. Now just snap the light assembly back in place. At this point I want to see if it's all working before I can call this repair done. But keep watching because in a bit I'm going to show you how to replace a different light in the fridge section. Okay so now the lighting is nice and bright in both compartments. But to make this a complete tutorial I need to show you one more light replacement. So again we're going to unplug the fridge. Problems can also arise from the light located at the top of the refrigerator section. And here are the tabs holding it in. This one is a bit more tricky to get out, but where you see the tabs, insert a small flathead screwdriver straight up into the opening. Then gently pry one side down at a time. And that's because the screwdriver can cause some minor damage to the plastic around it. Once loosened, use both hands to pull the light down. And on this one, there are two light connectors that need to be detached. This is part number 10515058, and it's different from the first one I replaced. But just reverse the process to install the new light board. Please note that if the LEDs inside the fridge are blinking or flashing, you'll need to determine which LED is causing the problem and it could be this one. That's why I bought the complete kit. I won't show you how to replace the second light in the refrigerator section because it's identical to the one under the ice maker. But once the wires for this one have been reattached, just snap the whole thing in place. With these replacement parts, the lighting is looking like new again. And keep in mind that you may have to replace more than one LED to fix lighting problems on this fridge. To make it easy, here are the part numbers for the different LEDs I got. And as mentioned before, I'll list the parts in the description so it's easy for you to find. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my DIY repair videos.